Hello friends, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technic and today we will see the new features in Windows Phone 8.1 uh, which is being now released in the developer preview. So right now if you have a developer account, Microsoft has uh, released of, uh, the preview version so you can get download uh, it on your phone and then uh, try it out. So we already covered how to get the uh, developer preview of uh, Windows Phone 8.1. So Microsoft has made uh, quite a lot of changes to Windows Phone 8.1, added uh, uh, tons of new features uh, which were missing in uh, previous versions. So right now we have a very good uh, and stable OS which can really compete with Android and uh, iOS. So right now we'll see the new features uh, on Windows Phone 8.1. So first up we'll take the start screen. So start screen has now new changes. You can customize the start screen. So if you go to settings, you can see the option to uh, choose a background image. So right now you can see the background image on our phone. So we have selected an image. And apart from that, you can add more tiles. So, so this we already covered. So if you want a third row of tiles, you can add it from here. So that's uh, the that's a new option in uh, start uh, start plus uh, themes now the second biggest change is the notification so if you um, swipe from the top you can see the notification center so this uh, this is very important uh, aspect of uh, uh, the windows phone um, 8.1 so this was uh, missing on uh, windows phone 8 now we have this uh, notification center uh, so you can just swipe uh, and uh, delete all the notifications and you also have this quick settings option so quick setting options allows you to add uh, up to four quick setting uh, panel and you can customize it from there so if you go to all settings and if you select the notification plus action center you can see the four items here so which can be configured by selecting them so you have uh, uh, you can select from a list of options so uh, that is again customizable that's uh, that's another great feature of uh, the notification center also you can select which all apps uh, should show from the notification center so that's uh, that's again customizable here and for each app you can uh, set the, um, the type of notification say for example you have banners sounds and vibration for facebook similarly you can set uh, that for each app so that's uh, another important aspect so that's the notification plus action center on windows phone 8.1 the next important change uh, with respect to Windows Phone 8.1 Enterprise is that it supports VPN. So we already con uh, um, config we already done a video on how to configure VPN on Windows Phone 8.1. So this is a very important aspect for Enterprise, um, and you can now connect to VPN from Windows Phone. So that's very important aspect. Now apart from that, you also have a uh, custom controls for media as well as uh, ringtone. So if you press the volume key, so you can see a small arrow here. So you can have separate ringtone uh, uh, ring uh, volume for uh, the notifications as well as the media. So uh, previously you had only one uh, sounds. So that was combined for media plus apps as well as notification. Now we can have a different uh, set of. Uh, um, bring a volume for media so if you can you can uh, change for media and then you can see for uh, ringer and notification that that's one another important aspect now if you go to settings you can see an option called the Wi-Fi sense so Wi-Fi sense is a new feature which allows you to connect automatically connect to Wi-Fi hotspot, hotspot and accept the terms um, on be, on your behalf uh, automatically by the phone so whenever there is an uh, Wi-Fi network I mean uh, um, hotspot available the phone will automatically connect to it and then uh, accept the terms uh, on based on your i mean on your behalf and then connect to it so that's another useful feature then uh, you have the storage sense so storage sense allows you to manage your apps and uh, storage on your phone so you can uh, move um, apps and uh, uh, photos and videos from your phone to your storage card install apps on your storage card and then you can also select uh, uh, you can see the sizes of uh, each uh, category say for example you can see the amount of storage taken by apps music uh, videos etc so that uh, storage sense app uh, uh, is a really uh, good app then you have the data sense app so data sense we already covered uh, but now it has gone much much improved like data sense uh, using data sense you can set a uh, limit uh, to the data uh, on your phone say for example you are using on a limited plan say 5 gb per month you can set a limit here and whenever uh, the limit crosses you will get a notification and it also allows you to automatically block any new uh, connections made uh, to using date cellular data uh, using uh, this option another important aspect is uh, uh, I mean the keyboard say for example the keyboard now is uh, um, uh, the, uh, the swipe keyboard so you can see here yeah, I can type it from here
so you can see here uh, that's the way you can type so that's a swipe keyboard now so that's again a really handy feature and it really works well uh, and uh, it's really handy now coming on to the camera so the camera app also has uh, gone in for a new design uh, we have already talked about the camera app so right now we have this boost mode added and a set of uh, options which are configured on the on the left side so we can check out a video on uh, the camera app so that's uh, that, that that's a new camera app so if you if you go to the phone app and if you try to place a call so now you can see that uh, there is an option uh, uh, to um, make the skype call out of this so you can see here you can uh, change the call to uh, skype from here so right now it's not enabled that's why it's not showing up if it is enabled uh, you can uh, see that you can um, um, switch the call to skype uh, um, from uh, the normal phone call so that's again a, a useful feature because skype is now integrated with windows phone 8.1 much better than the previous versions so that's uh, that's a skype calling option uh, for windows phone 8.1 then uh, you have this option to project the screen that means if you want to uh, share your screen onto bigger display so you can have this option for projecting this uh, so if you want to project your display i mean the phone screen onto a tv monitor or a projector you can do it from here so that will connect via wi-fi or usb right now wi-fi display disabled you have to connect you using your usb cable so that's again a very useful feature now apart from that you also have a quiet hours so we already covered a detailed video on quiet hours so quiet hours allows you to block all the notifications calls and other text uh, when you are in a meeting or when you are attending an important event so that uh, that's a very handy feature and uh, quiet hours can be configured using a cortana and uh, you can also add rules uh, or the break uh, breakthrough rules for quiet hours so now let's move on to the next feature so now we also have the sync settings so what you can do is uh, with sync settings you can sync your um, settings with uh, windows 8 so uh, microsoft is uh, combining the windows phone 8 as well as uh, 8.1 and uh, the windows 8.1 so you can see here you can sync uh, theme app settings internet explorer and passwords uh, with windows 8 or other microsoft devices which use the same um, uh, password i mean the user id uh, so uh, we already covered on this but uh, we, we are not sure how the theme works theme uh, it's not that uh, exactly the theme because the some accent colors uh, will not work exactly the same way as in windows 8.1 on windows 8 so still then uh, this feature is uh, really handy next up uh, you have this option to back up all the settings so you can see here you can back up uh, apps uh, text messages uh, photos and videos to the cloud and uh, in case you want to restore it uh, you can do it from here that's again a very important aspect now if you go to ie 11 uh, so you also have this option for in private browsing so windows phone 8.1 ie 11 supports in private browsing so if you go to the uh, new tab option you can see new in private tab so this will be like so you can see here the option uh, so in private browsing so the history won't be tracked on this uh, device so that's a really handy feature then apart from that uh, you also have this workplace account so what happens is if you connect your workplace account uh, the phone will have uh, the company policies and certificates um, um, I mean in place so what happens is if a particular app or feature is disabled uh, in a company network when you add a company workplace account so that will be disabled on your phone by automatically uh, so mm, so if you want um, if you are if you are using a company account and then company has restriction on certain type of apps so if you add a workplace account that those apps uh, will be automatically disabled uh, on your phone and if you remove them uh, these apps will once again start working apart from that email has also gone in for a change uh, you have the preview of uh, all the attachments or at least on uh, available on the email so you can preview the attachment apart from that uh, you also have the battery saver app so let's uh, just open the battery saver app so battery saver app is now much more improved and you can see that uh, the background apps can be uh, viewed from here so you can see the usage so these are the apps which are running the background and you can see which all apps can be uh, allowed to run in the background from here say for example if you don't want uh, cortana to run in the background so you can see allow apps to run in the background you can swipe from here so that's the battery saver for you and finally the most important feature of windows phone 8.1 is uh, cortana the voice assistant so we already done a quick video on uh, the cortana so if you press and hold uh, uh, the search button you can see that uh, cortana is in action so it will be listening to your voice commands 
and uh, it will search uh, search stuff for you you can also uh, set reminders so you can make calls you can uh, do a lot of work with Cortana we'll, uh, we will uh, do a detailed, re detailed review of Cortana uh, later on so stay tuned for that so overall Cortana is uh, really good uh, and uh, it works really well we have tried it uh, and tested it on many occasions and it uh, uh, it uh, works really well so these are some of the new features uh, in windows phone 8.1 so right now it is in a preview version so we expect this to uh, finish uh, uh, the final testing and uh, release by may end or probably june so it will in, it will be included with the nokia uh, cyan update so that will combine with the windows phone 8.1 so those are the new features of Windows Phone 8.1. So if you have any specific queries, uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video.